Always alerting, always tracking. This is Next Weather. Yesterday, a high of 85 degrees. Today, even warmer as we head through now the first couple of days of December. And man, today we're actually going to be talking about some record heat, at least for Miami. 86 degrees for that forecast high. Should be tying that record last set back in 1981. Fort Lauderdale, Key West, you'll be at 84, 83 degrees. Not guys quite as close to your records, but warm nevertheless. Warm and also humid. We are now officially into the meteorological winter. That's the months of December, January, and February. Average high for this time of year, 80 degrees. Notice as we head, especially into January, we continue to cool. Those average highs eventually dropping into the 70s with the coolest part of the year being around mid-January. We're going to be looking at temperatures that'll be well above that, though, today, tomorrow, and at least for Monday. In fact, that's about what we're waking up to this morning as far as those overnight lows go. We do have some changes ahead, though. If you liked what we had last week, if you remember, recall Wednesday was kind of that chilly morning where we dropped into the 50s for most of us. We've got another cold front on the way. This one actually should be a fairly strong one at that. It's currently moving through portions of the deep south up through parts of the Tennessee River Valley. Behind that, we've got 30s and 40s out across portions of the Great Plains. 20s out across the Rocky Mountain West. This eventually will be bringing us a cool down, but we've got kind of a couple fronts on the way. The first one that we are that I just showed you, that one's going to kind of kick off a cool down and bring us what should be a drop in humidity uh, by Tuesday. Out ahead of it, warm and humid, of course, we'll be tracking the potential of tying some records today, along with the chance of seeing some isolated showers. This front pushes through the first out of two Monday night. That's what's going to be bringing us first the drop in humidity. We'll feel that on Tuesday, a little bit of a cool down for Tuesday, but we'll have a reinforcing front behind that. That one's set to move through on Wednesday. Here it comes. You can see Wednesday into Wednesday night. This clears our area and we're looking cooler behind that one. So it's the second front that's really going to be bringing us that drop in temperatures. In fact, by Thursday morning, which should be the coolest morning of the week, we're talking about lows that'll be back into the 50s, low 50s inland, 57 degrees for Miami and across our coastal areas should be even chillier than what we had last week. So keep those jackets handy. I know a lot of us had to dig those back out of the closets from last week's cool down and we'll need it again, especially as we head towards the middle of this upcoming work week. This morning, certainly no jackets needed. We are warm, low 80s, winds to the southeast, driving that humidity up. We'll continue with just a very low end chance for a stray shower. Most of us dry today, a mix of sun and clouds with a little bit of a higher rain chance as we head into Sunday. Those high temperatures, 84 degrees, Homestead, middle 80s, down through even portions of the Keys. They'll top off near 83 degrees for Key West. If you're heading to the zoo lights, maybe you want to feel a little festive, at least it'll look festive. Won't be feeling much like it with the weather, but you can check out some of those lights. It's going to be mild and muggy. Those temperatures remaining in the upper 70s for both today and also tomorrow night as the sun sets. Next seven days, we keep with one more day of warm temperatures through Monday, and then we start to see things drop. That humidity drops off for Tuesday, second front on the way for Wednesday, and you can see that drop in our low temperatures by Thursday. We'll be waking up in the 50s.